long lasting lip paint. Smudge, smudge proof. Well, hello, my lovelies. I'm so excited to see you. Today, I'm going to try on four new liquid lipsticks that I've never tried before, and I want you to come join me. I have three of the Wet n Wild liquid catsuit colors. I have like this pastel blue, a black. I've been wanting a black for a while. Um, I don't know how well it will do. And then this like forest green. And then I also got this Tattoo Junkie lip paint. It's like the lip paint that dries matte and then you can put the glitter dust on top. Let's start with the lightest color because I don't know how much this will stain. And I don't feel like having black on my lips for the rest of this video. It's called Boo Blue. I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer so you can see exactly what it looks like as it goes on. And it's supposed to be a matte lipstick, so let's hope this works. Ooh, ooh, it's cool. Whoa. I really like this applicator. So it kind of has like a curve, like exactly how the curve of your lip would be, which I've never seen on a applicator before. And I really like that. As far as application goes, it's not as, um, it's a little sheer. So I think I'm gonna try, now that it's dry, I think I'm gonna try and do a second coat and see how that goes. If it wipes off the first coat or if it will layer on top. So that's pretty much what I wanted it to do, kind of layer on top of the previous layer. And it dries really quickly. Um, if you don't let it dry before you put a second coat on, it is going to smudge. You can see kind of when I put my lips together before it was dry, it's smudged. Um, so be careful that it's dry before you touch your lips together, before you put a second coat on. But I actually really like this. It's really bright and different. <laughs> you have to definitely be in the right mood to wear this lipstick, um, but it would be really awesome for cosplay. But if you're brave enough, I would totally wear it out on a normal day. I think it's a fun color and it applies really well. Okay, I still feel like I have a little bit of a, like a frostbitten smurf mouth beard, <laughs> but hopefully I got most of it off. Um, I think let's try the Tattoo Junkie one next. Long lasting lip paint, smudge proof lip color. Um, this is the color Outcast. Okay, start with clean dry lips. Done. Shake the tube of lip paint well before application. I don't feel like that's doing anything, but use the wand inside the cap. Apply Tattoo Junkies lip paint to the lips. Lip paint is a stay all day smudge proof formula. Allow the lip paint to dry, then dab your finger into the effects and apply to your lips for a purely prismatic pout. Here we go. Oh, mmm, it smells like vanilla. I am a fan of that. It smells like vanilla Smarties, which is weird. So there is that. It's pretty goopy as it comes out of the jar. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I love that, but it smells delightful. And I really like this color. Um, I don't really know how the sparkles are gonna go on after this is dry, but I will follow the rules and we will see. Take the effects, dab your finger into the effects and apply to your lips. Tap. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so now that I have glitter all over me, I don't know how long the sparkles will stay on the lips. I feel like, I mean, they went on pretty well. They're really sparkly in the camera. They went on pretty well, but I don't know 
if they would really stay on all day but it's really pretty and it would look great to go to a party and I really I can't stop looking at myself in there it's everywhere though like I don't know how you're supposed to keep it just on your lips maybe eventually it'll fall off everything but your lips I don't know glitter doesn't really not stick anyway so overall I really like this I like the feel of it it's not tacky um, I mean the glitter comes off when I rub it but the lipstick doesn't I'm pretty impressed with the lipstick I don't know if I would really use the glitter that often so I don't know if it's like really that worth it to buy the kit because I don't know if I'd use the glitter but I really like the lipstick and I like that it smells good now that that debacle is off let's go on to a darker shade shall we I love this. I think this is the coolest color and it went on really, really smoothly. And this is, so this is two coats and it's not quite dry yet, but I love it. I think this would be gorgeous to just go out at night or every day, whatever, just be brave and do it. I think this one might be my favorite out of all four that we tried today. Gorgeous. Finally, the last one. Man, that stuff is hard to get off. Guess that's a good thing. <laughs> this is called Widow's Peak. And I'm really excited about it. A little bit nervous because I don't know how it's going to go. But since that green went so well, I think it's going to go. I think it's going to go. I don't know. Let's just try it. love this so much. I lied about the green being my favorite. This is my favorite. I'm so happy. I've been looking for a good black lipstick for uh, like months now and this one is incredible and gorgeous and it went on so smooth and it looks so good and you know that I'm gonna wear this out on a daily basis because it's fantastic. I love it. Which one of these four lipsticks were your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and also let me know if you have tried any of these liquid lipsticks and if you have any lipsticks or makeup that you would like me to try out. Make sure and give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it. And don't forget to push that subscribe button down at the bottom. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. And as for that, you are so lovely and I will see you next time with a new video. Bye. When you subscribe to Keisha, life just gets much more fun. Thumbs up and comment below now. You are so lovely. Subscribe to Keisha Egbert.